Yo, what's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna help you guys understand what the knobs and most plugins do so you guys can get like a better understanding of sound design and, and how to tweak your presets to your liking. And yeah, before we get started, as always, make sure to go follow me on social media at Enviral. Tap in with me, but let's get it. So I have a couple of VSTs here that I think are good examples. Uh, so I'm just gonna start with Omnisphere because you know, everyone loves this plugin. And the most important thing about Omnisphere is like usually uh, it has two layers. So this is like the A layer and the B layer. So this is what the A layer sounds like. It's just like a bell, but then the B layer is like some texture. So that's the first thing that you want to understand is like if you don't like a certain sound you can kind of tweak these too. So like if I don't like that little crackling with the texture I can turn it all the way down. But I kind of like it so I'm going to just keep it a, a little bit up. So and then the next important thing about Omnisphere is like a lot of times the effects are overwhelming. So you kind of want to go into effects in this effects tab and see in the common effects there's a compressor. That's fine but uh, I'm just looking forward to take this per reverb off because like it's just too much reverb on it and then you can go see in the a section there's an eq in the b section there's nothing and you can kind of tweak with the effects however you want but most of the time i just like to remove the reverb because it is kind of overwhelming with some presets so this is what it sounds like now i feel like it's much better than with the reverb because then you can apply your own reverb all right next i want to discuss like what the envelopes and uh the cutoff all these mean so like this is a thing you're gonna see repeat in all plugins pretty much in this video so, so this is basically a way you can shape the sound it's similar to like when you do the box on the 808 you, you know you kind of make it stop wherever you want the attack is basically how long it takes for the sound to start so it's essentially just the punch of it so if i raise it up it's not as loud anymore because it takes a while for the sound to uh you know get to that volume uh, so basically if you have like bell sounds usually it's going to be like zero attack but like pads or strings have like a higher attack because like it's softer so this is kind of like think of this as like a softness knob so if i want it to be less clicky i can maybe raise the attack like a couple milliseconds see how that initial kind of like punch is gone and then the decay is how long it takes uh for the sound to like kind of go to zero and then the sustain is how long the sound like kind of stays between the attack and decay and then the most important knob of all i would say is the release so this controls like how long the sound stops after you stop playing it see that it's the sound is still going even after i stop hitting it if you want it to be like super punchy and stop just turn your release all the way down but now it sounds unnatural it sounds like a synth if it's a bell like i would say maybe just a little bit of release this is basically the most important envelope on the amp that's like the volume this is the filter which it controls the envelope of the filter so the next the filter section so this is kind of a way you can eq your sound uh, just make it sound a little bit different so um if i turn it on as you can see like if i go into filter presets there's a bunch of like band pass high pass so i'm just i'm just going to choose low pass and just you know basic low pass so what this does is you can cut off the harsh um you know upper frequencies and you're going to see a cutoff knob in almost every preset or every vst i mean so this is important to kind of start using if you don't like how harsh a sound sounds you can kind of turn up the turn down the uh, cutoff for most of the time this is going to be a low pass so with the cutoff is all the way up so it's like sounds regular just the regular bell but if i turn it like down a little bit or a lot you can see it's more like underwater so uh, you're basically cutting off the higher frequencies by adjusting it and you can choose whatever way you want to do it all right next i have profit which is a super, super famous like analog synthesizer but this is like a vst version of it so uh, as you can see it looks hella complicated but it's actually super simple to use again so i like this sound a lot but if I were to use this in a beat, I would definitely tweak it a lot. So the first thing that you want to keep in mind is like, again, it has like an effects chain. Most plugins have effects already applied on them. And if you don't like them, you can take them off. So like, I'm actually going to take off the chorus and the delay. So that's what it sounds like after. So next, uh, as you can see, we have a cutoff knob again. Uh, and uh, this basically just cuts off the high frequencies. <laughs> So yeah, over here you see that you have uh, attack, decay, sustain, and release for the filter. This is basically just the cutoff section, so this is like the EQ almost. So the amplifier uh, envelope section is definitely the most important section that will determine how your sound sounds. Turn my release down just a little bit, so it's more short, and then I just attack up. And you can kind of mess around with these to get the sound to sound however you want. 
So again, uh, this plugin is similar to Omnisphere in a way because it has two different waves, two different like sections going into each other and kind of combining. So you have your A section and your B section for the oscillators. So if you want to, if you don't like one of the sounds, you can kind of, you know, turn it down and stuff. All right, next I'm going to show you guys how to use this plugin. And for this one, it's very easy. You just got to take the second derivative. It's basically like a telescoping series. So if you take the second derivative, you got to do L'Hopital's rule after that and you're chilling. But for real though, if you actually want to know how to use this plugin, just hit up Albert Einstein, like, cause hell no. All right, uh, next I wanna show you guys how to use Citrus. And this is actually a plugin that's like pretty fire. People sleep on it because they think FL Studio plugins are whack, but uh, this is pretty good if you actually know how to use it. And I actually have a video on this, like cooking up with it. If you guys wanted to go check that out, I'll link it right now. A lot of plugins have like an envelope that you can tweak like this so you guys can see what you're doing. But uh, you can basically just do that again. Over here, you have the attack, decay, sustain, and release. Again, this has different sections that go into each other. So you can see so you can see that the different oscillators or operators that it's called are like combined into each other. So the first one is, a, I think, a sawtooth wave or something. Uh, and that's a square wave. And then you have like sine waves going to, to each other and then combining into the whole sound. But if you want to tweak the whole sound, you just got to go into main over here. So you guys can see. So for the third time, you can see that there's two sections for the envelopes. There's the volume, which was previously called amp. And then this is the filter. So if you're going to learn at least one thing from this video, learn what the attack, decay, and sustain release do. Because that's the most important thing you, could, you can do in any plugin to change. So this plugin is actually pretty complicated to use because it has like all these different things that go into each other. Uh, this tutorial is mostly for just knowing how to tweak certain things so you guys can get like a better sound uh, from like presets pretty much remember when i told you that every plugin has an effects chain that's the so the effects in citrus are over here so yeah you have like a uh, delay one delay two delay three and then reverb what i'm gonna do is actually turn off everything uh and so this is what it sounds like after <laughs> It's pretty dry so you can you can really mess around with that it's so most of the time if you don't like how a preset sounds it's more likely due to one of these effects so you might as well just turn it off and see if that makes it better and then lastly i'm going to show you guys how to use sacra or i don't know if that's how you say it but this is another fire uh plug from fl as you can see at first it looks really complicated but again it's really simple so we have our envelope over here that controls the volume and this is pretty much again the most important section because this determines how the sound uh is if my attack is pretty up right now so it should sound like a string or a pad you know it sounds really slow but if i turn it all the way up it's gonna be more plucky and then you can turn your release down a little bit to make, make it end quicker. Damn, that's pretty fire. I might actually use this. I haven't used this in a while. But then uh, you can see over here, you have your effects chain again. Uh, and if you don't like any of these effects, you can just turn it off over here. It's dry, but I'm just going to keep the reverb on. So as you can see, I turned the attack all the way up but it's still a pluck because this envelope is actually for the LFO. Another important part of this plugin is uh, you have your high cut and low cut sections. So this is basically like the cutoff uh, filter, but you have two of them. You have like a high cut, which cuts off the high frequencies. And then you have a low cut, which makes it like cuts off the lower frequencies. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you learned how to use most knobs to tweak your sounds to sound better. You kind of want to use these tips to, you know, tweak your sounds to make them fit better on your beats. But yeah, this is actually my first like sound design type of tutorial. So if you guys actually enjoyed this, give it a like and comment below what you thought of it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.